Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Several weeks ago, I had a request. Actually, it was another one of those heartfelt pleas for help with under eye concealer. And specifically, the subscriber was saying she was having a hard time getting her concealer to conceal the dark circles on one hand, but not look cakey and make her look older throughout the day. So this is something that has been a struggle for me as well and especially over the last several years as I've gotten older just certain products that worked in my 30s don't work in my 40s so I'm going to share with you today a demo of how I have been applying my under eye corrector and concealer and all that good stuff and as we age we all get those fine lines under our eyes so this demo is not going to show you how to make those magically disappear. However, if you've got dark circles, you know that those lines can either be enhanced or minimized depending on what products you use. And as the day goes on, they can either get more pronounced or stay how they were when you first applied your makeup. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo and then we'll round off this video with some final thoughts. Okay, so the first step that I think is really important is to make sure that you add a little bit of moisture right before you apply your concealer. Now, I have already applied under eye moisturizer earlier this morning before I started putting makeup on, but now that I've finished up my eyes, what I like to do is take a Q-tip and you can use your eye moisturizer again, but I like to just go in with a little bit of almond oil. You could also use coconut oil. That's a little bit heavier, um, but can also work as well. So I just put it in this little, I transfer it to this little bottle. So I just take my Q-tip and I use this oil to clean up the eyeshadow fallout, but also to add some much needed hydration to the under eye before applying concealer. And I tell you, this makes a difference no matter what concealer you're using. If I have not done this step or if I'm doing a cream shadow and I don't have any eyeshadow to clean up, I will still go back and add just a drop or two of this under the eye. So again, I'm just dipping that q-tip in there's a decent amount of oil on there because you want to be able to clean up all that shadow and so you'll see my q-tip is pretty dirty and then you want to though remove it you do not want to leave this much oil under your eye or you'll be in trouble so what I like to do is I have a tissue just here on my desk and I will tap gently, remove the excess oil, and then tap in what remains there. So you'll be able to feel um, like this eye still had too much. So once you've gotten down to, you want just a tiny little bit of some shine there. And now we're ready for color corrector. If you do not have super dark circles, you can skip this step. But if you do, I'm telling you, this will make a difference because the goal is the thinnest layer of concealer as possible and the thinnest layers in general. So my two favorite color correctors are the Boing Brightening Concealer. I have the shade number three, I think works best for me. Um, this is a little bit deeper peach, depending on the tone of your circles, depends on how dark or how light you wanna go with your color corrector. So um, I sometimes have some pretty deep ones, so I love this. And then recently I have been trying the Bobbi Brown. Um, this is in the shade light to medium beige. And oh, here it is, Intensive Skin Serum Corrector. And this is pretty amazing. It's super lightweight. I'm gonna show you with this one today. So I am just going to put three dots because I've got darkness here and then I've got some veins that show here. And so just with those couple little dots, you do not wanna go crazy with this. And then I'm going to work this in with my finger. And this is a super lightweight formula. 
then you can see that by doing the corrector, the corrector has done a lot of the work for us before we have to go in with concealer. So there you go. Now for concealers, I have several that I do like and I like them for different reasons. Lately, my favorite concealer combination has been the Revlon Candid Concealer. This is the shade Light Pale. I'm not light pale, so I have been bringing in a slightly darker shade with the Born This Way concealer. So this is the multi-use sculpting concealer. So I do like this on its own. I do like this on its own. This one on its own is a little lighter coverage. This is pretty heavy. So I've just really enjoyed the combination. And I find with these two, especially this one, I do not need to set the concealer hardly at all. You know I love the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, but both of those do require some powder for me at least for them to not crease through the day. These I can get away with just the super lightest bit of powder. So enough blabbing, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go in with first the Revlon. Now I'm going to put one dot here and here and one dot here and here. And then with the Tarte Born This Way concealer, now this stuff, I mean, it's deceiving. This has amazing spreadability. So uh, the tiniest little amount is all you need, especially if you're combining it with this other concealer. So I am now going to use my fingers and yes, your fingers are really, truly the best. A sponge, for me and my experience, removes too much of the product. And usually when you see a sponge being used, um, the person has just slathered on concealer. And so you need the sponge to remove all the excess amount. Because we use so little, you do not need to pick up that. And in fact, we're using our finger to press in and you can see I'm looking up because that is going to make the smoothest application. And there we go. It's all blended in. We don't have cakes of concealer under there and it is setting already. And once it sets, you really don't wanna keep going back in and trying to rub. We're not rubbing, just dabbing. So then what I typically do is powder the rest of my face, and then if I feel like that area is still a little bit tacky, I will add just the tiniest little bit of some powder, so I'll show you that. Now many times, I will just use the leftover powder. This is what I'm gonna use on my face today. And many times, I'll just use what's left on my face powder brush and just sweep that lightly under the eye. And that is all. Now, if I feel like I want just a hint more powder, um, I have been testing out, this is a little mini Charlotte Tilbury, her, um, oh, I don't even know what this is called, Airbrush Flawless Finish, and this is in shade number two. And so I have really been enjoying a little tiny bit of this powder. So I'm using, this is the Sedona Lace 313, and I just tap in there, tap off, and I start in the outer corner because I have less lines here, and just very, very lightly tap that underneath the eye. So I have hardly any powder at all, but just really going over that area very lightly, and I mean lightly. I'm not, don't go in like this, that'll disturb your concealer, but you can see that did kind of add just a tiny little bit of a little more airbrush look than I have over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that over here. And that is it. So now you can see up close, I'll just zoom in here so you can see the under eye area. I mean, even in these bright lights, you are not seeing 
those deep shadows. So that under eye corrector, that I think does so much of the work for me. And then those concealers, by just using the tiniest little amount, you can see we still got good coverage, but because there's such a thin layer, it is going to wear really well as the day goes on. So, and if you must set your concealer, use the tiniest little amount of powder and you want to use a very finely milled powder for that step. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any other requests or areas that you are needing help in your makeup routine, feel free to list those in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.